Welcome to summer year one of Stardew Valley 1.6 Perfection in a Minute. As we approach fall, I want to say thank you to the thousands of you who have tuned in and made this a fun series to create for all of you. So without wasting any more time, here's summer year one. Did you know you can move chests that have items in them now? Stardew Valley 1.6 Perfection in a Minute Summer Day 1. And it's time to clear our farming area to start fresh. Yep, yeah, coffee plants gotta go. What a way to start a season. Steel axe so we can get some hardwood now. 8 tomato, 32 blueberries, 8 peppers, 8 radish, 2 sunflower, 3 poppy, 3 spangle, 8 hops, 12 quality sprinklers. <gasps> oh yeah, you can now move the chests. They hop. 40 regrowing plants at the bottom, 32 blueberries at the right, melons that we got from the museum, radish in the middle, flowers in a nice little pattern, and the star fruit is off in the middle of nowhere. We barely made it in time getting everything watered. Those Joja's soda from fishing in the mines yesterday, giving us that plus one speed, they are the only reason we were able to get it done. We found a hidden bridge on our farm. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute. Summer day two, time to start using our dehydrator in our cave. I can't quite fully fence in the cows yet. Uh, I found one I'm pretty sure venturing off towards Narnia at some point when I went into town today. Wait, what is that on the 20th? Okay, well, at least we can get into the secret woods now. So daily hardwood is on the menu. Finish the day off clearing up some hardwood and trees on our farm. Excuse me? Is that a bridge? I was wondering if we could get up in the top left of our farm. Though even if we cleared this earlier, we still needed a steel axe to get by. I wonder though, if I should move the barn up here sometime soon. It might be a great area to keep the cows contained. I won't be able to get bluegrass, but still a good spot for them. We built a literal haunted cabin today. Stardew Valley 1.6, perfection in a minute, summer day three. Before we get to that haunted cabin, we've got some prep work to do. So I had this awesome idea to turn a cabin into a cheap shed before I could build one. It's a hundred gold. I built something completely haunted instead. It all started when I went to remove the recycling machine that I placed inside. The axe animation stayed up in the air. I couldn't pick up the machine, so I exited out to reset it. Came back in, couldn't pick up the recycling machine, and as you can see, the animation stayed in the air. So we deleted it. R.I.P. Recycling Machine. Maybe it was a little taste of haunted chocolatier that Concerned Ape is working on? Who knows? Either way, it's gone now. I hope. Turns out you can pass out in your house now without a penalty. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute, summer day 4, and per request we now have a cow named Toast. We were able to hand in quite a few bundle items before heading to the mines to stock up on even more bat wings. So I could easily hit 120 in the mines right now, get the skull key, finish the mines, but I'm holding off until I'm ready for skull caverns. Yes, this means I don't have a chance for a prismatic shard to drop from a monster, but it also doesn't increase their hit points, defense, and damage. So it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make at this time to make mines days like this faster and less likely to see me being escorted out against my will. I also lost complete track of time in the mines, forgot I had melons I wanted to plant, and passed out about a foot away from my bed. But at least there's no penalty for that now. A legendary fish evaded me multiple times today. Stardew Valley 1.6, perfection in a minute, summer day five. It's time to get some of the summer fish that we don't have yet. Now wood skip, that's the whole reason we're in the secret forest. We also decided to drop the 300 wood to open the bridge to the east part of the beach. Somewhat because I wanted access to more beach forage. And secondly, I wanted to test my skills against a legendary fish. Four failed attempts against the Crimson Fish, and one Super Cucumber that was tougher than the Crimson Fish managed to get off of my line today without me reeling in. My one attempt was half a second away, and then I ended up losing it. The only good part of today was getting a few missing fish and hitting farming and fishing level 7 to close out the day. 
we found an item that lets us create literal trash. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute, summer day six. Early in the day, we found the trash catalog. We'll have a look into it before we go to sleep tonight. Following the failures of yesterday, I'm going nowhere near where the crimson fish can be caught. We had awesome timing on these bubbles and took advantage of catching a puffer fish almost immediately after noon when it has a chance to spawn. We also saw our book that gives us a chance at row from treasure chest pay off once again. It might be time to start putting these into the preserve jar for some money. So that trash can we found earlier today inside a trash can, we can just craft any of these items for free as much as we want. We'll think on it for now, but maybe it's something we can use in the future. We found a secret present hidden in a new area. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute, summer day seven. Prep for a steel pickaxe and I will say, I was spoiled on this, but that's okay. Behind where the balloon lands on book days, while well, you can do it at any time, there's a little present hidden behind that gives a prize ticket. I'll take an orange tree sapling. Sadly though, we won't get any oranges this year. Too bad I didn't do this earlier. We did catch a sturgeon right away, which is an awesome find. We'll also steer away from fishing for a few days unless we get some rain so I can continue to fill out the fishing log. I'm hoping the orange tree ends up working here. We also took a late night trek to the secret woods. I'm trying to remember to head here often as I know we are going to need a lot of hardwood throughout the days. We crafted one of the new items today. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute, summer day eight. Today is Gus's birthday. I think we'll try and gift him something he loves. The geodes in the museum today were awesome. Enough to get a new rare crow. We do need all of them over time for perfection. Finished a bundle after fishing for the last three days. I know using a diamond for this is not ideal and a little overkill, but instantly getting Gus to level two, I think is worth it since it means he might send us some cooked food in the mail. We did farm up some wood in Cindersap Forest and got just enough moss to be able to craft the mushroom log. I'm excited to have this new item on our farm and maybe we'll just make a farm out of them. The mines are completed. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute, summer day nine. Steel pickaxe means we can find out what's hiding behind Clint's shop. Chance of more trash? Hey, I'll take that. Also bought the price catalog from the bookseller. It's more of a quality of life item, but I did have the spare gold to do it. Let's you see what items you have will sell for. Very handy. So I went back on my word from the other day when I said I was gonna hold off hitting 120 in the mines. It was bothering me that I failed and ripped and didn't complete it. We absolutely flew from 110 to 120, six hours in game time, closing the day out after that, I went hunting for bugs. The low 0.5% chance for an ancient seed is calling my name. Sadly, we didn't end up getting one today, but it does give us a new goal on days where we're not sure exactly what to do. Also look at me, finally using my dresser to put items into. I'm sure you're all very proud of me. Ancient Seed Acquired. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute, summer day 10. We're back to the mines to continue our hunt for an ancient seed. If you're looking for one, floor 5, 15, and 25 are what you want to cycle through and kill bugs and grubs. Wait, let's see that on instant replay. Tree sap would get hard and become fossilized just like a dinosaur bone. Preserving the mosquito is... So we found it at 3.40 and I thought the museum closes at 5 p.m. So you can see the panic as I'm trying to make my way down here. Yeah, it turns out the museum, it closes at 6. Thank you, Gunther, for opening up one hour earlier before everybody and staying open an hour later. Let's clear up some giant rocks on our farm. We need the stone anyway for something tomorrow, which, by the way, is the luau. So a nice relaxing day to have some soup at the beach. Let's throw something concerned Abe hates into soup. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute, summer day 11. I'm fighting off a cold, so don't mind my voice being a little bit off today. With the luau being later, it's time to do something I've been holding off on for quite a while. Making our tree farm area look a little cleaner and ensuring I don't have to worry about random forage or tree seeds in the area. 
Okay, so for the Luau, the easiest year one item to get a perfect result? Yeah, gold quality mayonnaise. Concerned Ape's least favorite thing that we can now drink. That extra friendship with everyone boosted Gus to three hearts as well. Finish the day with pass around our crops, and off to bed we go. We had Robin start to build a silo at 11 o'clock at night. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute, summer day 12, still fighting off a cold, I apologize. So I'm going to show you how to talk to Robin when she's closed her carpenter shop for a day, but we'll get to that. And would you look at that, our first train passing through Stardew Valley. It was a boring train, so we ran off right away to head to the secret woods. We did check the traveling cart, but it wasn't very helpful. Okay, now that it's getting later, we have to make sure that we're inside the carpenter shop before we can't enter. We're going to go to 200 times speed while we wait for Robin to get home. So it's all about clicking the register when it's only Robin in front of it. If you get it right, you can build anything after the shop is closed for the day. It's useful to know, but if you're smart, you'll never have to do it. I caught two of the toughest fish in the game within minutes of each other. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute, summer day 13. It's a stormy day in the valley, which means we'll finally get some batteries. It also means we can go fishing for one of the remaining summer fish we're missing. Just before noon, we got into a battle with an octopus. Exactly one minute later, pseudo-legendary fish acquired. Feeling good about catching the octopus, I wanted one more shot at the crimson fish. 19 seconds is all it took for me to reel in one of the five legendary fish in the game. This calls for an aquarium to show them off in the house. I spent the rest of the day hunting a stonefish, but that doesn't matter. We have two of the most difficult fish in the game to catch on Summer 13 within minutes of each other. The Junimos went crazy today. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute, summer day 14. Blueberries, batteries, and a uh, hey. There's only one summer only fish that we haven't caught yet. It's a Dorado, which are pretty rare to find. Hey, this one also gave us a pretty nice treasure chest. Well, you've got to be kidding me. I spent a literal minute fighting an octopus yesterday, and this is just chilling in the trash can. This is getting out of hand. Oh, there are two of them. Battery to the community center finishes off the boiler room. Hello? So, um, I guess it was Star Wars Day in the valley today. And starting tomorrow, we can light speed around with the minecarts. We ended up going broke today. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute, summer day 15, melons, corn, peppers, and hops. That's a pretty good start to the day. I also forgot that for the fishing collection, you have to get a bunch of them from crab pots, so we're going to take advantage of those. Now, if you have the children's bundle, you're doing the remix bundles, make sure you buy an ice cream. Also, it's time to go broke buying a big coop. We need to get ourselves some ducks. best part about the day, hitting farming level 8, which means I can finally craft some kegs. We started another tree farm. Stardew Valley 1.6, perfection in a minute, summer day 16. We sold off a lot of our crop to end the day off yesterday that we were stockpiling. It gave us a lot of money back after we went broke buying the big coop. So up by the train tracks is one of my favorite places to create a tree farm in Stardew Valley. Don't ask why, just is. Hopefully we get enough to fully fill this area. I'm going to need a lot of wood and I want to try and avoid buying a lot of resources from Robin. Finally, our first keg bundle item is done. Three to go and of course, as a reward, we'll get a keg. We now have two firebenders in our farm. Stardew Valley 1.6, perfection in a minute, summer day 17. We are burning through our stockpile of resources quickly. 
from building a bunch of tappers to kegs, you may have to start cutting down some of these mature trees. Now that the big coop is done, we need to get some d firebenders. Also, one of the most requested items by a lot of you I finally built, it's a fish smoker. We also built a bait maker. I know the trout fishing derby is coming up, so I want as much trout bait as possible. We're gonna win. I also think any fish I smoke after today, I'll wait to sell in the future. I need to hit fishing level 10, make them sell for more money, make it more worth my while. What in the Kermit the Frog is going on? Stardew Valley 1.6, perfection in a minute, summer day 18, and it's green. Ev everything is green. Wait, what happened to my tree farm? It's all grown up. My farm is also completely covered in weeds. And what on earth is that tree? That's new. So everybody is hiding in town. Can't say that I blame them. I'm outside running around in green rain. Wait, did we go to Whoville? That looks like a tree from Dr. Seuss. Oh, okay, it gives fiddlehead ferns. So I was in dire need of moss and fiber. I don't think I'm going to be wanting for either of those anymore. Can I just say, this feels like the crop fairy event, but for trees. And even better, as it gives a ton of forging experience, which is usually one of the toughest skills to get to level 10. We need copper ore. Stardew Valley 1.6, perfection in a minute, summer day 19. I also added a counter in the top left, that's a little easier to see how much we have. So I started in the 30s for floors, which if you google copper ore Stardew, the Reddit result says, hey, this is the best spot. Now I'm not a big fan of the look, so I ended up dropping back down into the 20s, which adds grubs back into the mix, while I already found an ancient seed. I'll gladly take a second one, which will speed things up in the future. As you can see from the counter, I think we're doing pretty well today, copper ore wise. Ended up with just over 180 to finish the day off. Tomorrow, it's time for our first new event of 1.6. We finished the two day trout derby in one day. Stardew Valley 1.6, perfection in a minute, summer day 20, and it's our first new calendar event of 1.6. I love the little setup here in Cindersap Forest, but I'm antisocial, so I'm moving away from everybody else to fish. So the whole point of the Trout Derby is to get a golden tag. Each rainbow trout has a 33% chance to give you one, so there are 11 different rewards possible. So if you hand in 11 golden tags, you will get all 11. That's our goal. We're also using the trout bait, which is why we're getting almost exclusively rainbow trout. We actually had to go back to make some more during the derby. In the last few hours, we finally managed to get some luck and managed to get all 11 golden tags by 1130. Of the rewards, the hat and mystery box are the only two that I think are worthwhile for me. Also, Dorito almost caused us to pass out on the floor at the end of the day. We're finally going to have a bedroom. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute, summer day 21. Our fences from the start of the game are starting to degrade, so let's give the chickens some stone fences. Today we may have gone a little crazy cutting down some trees as you'll see, but we also took another visit to go see Robin because we want to get a bedroom and upgrade our house. No more New York style apartment building for us. During our tree chopping spree, we ended up finding a new book, Woody's Secret. A 5% chance for trees to drop double the amount of wood. Okay, that's awesome. I put it to the test after we read it. No results from our schooling yet, but we'll likely chop down hundreds, if not thousands of trees before we get perfection. I think the Dharma Initiative from Lost has invaded Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute, summer day 22, Azula and Zuko, our ducks are now fully grown. I don't know what the dwarf said, I'm not going to attempt to try it. It's time to go farming for some stone. So what we're going to do is constantly reset floor 1. When we see the big rocks, we destroy them, we go back up, we reset, rinse, repeat, you get 10 stone each time you break one of them. It's the fastest way to be able to get stones as a resource if you don't want to buy them from Robin. 
I also decided we need to spruce up the farm. I'm not that big of a fan of the way the flooring looks right now. All right, grand reveal. You'll see more of how this all looks in the days to come, but I think it looks a lot cleaner now. So either we're playing Fortnite or we're on the island from Lost and the Dharma Initiative just dropped supplies for us. Either way, we need those boxes for one of our bundles. We wore a bathing suit today. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute, summer day 23. Battery collecting the day after a storm is always satisfying. So we have one goal today. We want to get at least 999 wood. So I'm going to make it easy to follow with a counter in the top left corner. So as we're destroying our tree farm, we're also replanting so that in the future we can do this again and again. And with the amount of trees that aren't fully grown yet, I think a full tree farm should easily get us over 1,000 wood. And it will only get faster when we upgrade our axe in the future. I also decided, hey, since we're up here, let's rock our bathing suit and go for a dip in the spa. Now, it's not the most ideal way to regenerate your energy, but sometimes after chopping down a literal forest, sitting back and resting is good for you. Over 999 wood and farming level 9. Tomorrow, we'll wake up in a bedroom. I love gold! Stardew Valley 1.6, perfection in a minute, summer day 24, and that's right, today we're after gold. Or... You saw the new house to start the day. We had to do some rearranging from the old New York apartment building style setup. So we threw a winter root into our seed maker. It will give us winter seeds. That was a tip that a lot of you gave me early on. Also, some mead to Willie for his birthday. So we're at the mines. Well, goal! is the goal at hand. We're also after mining and combat experience as we're trying to get all five skills to level 10. It's crazy seeing how many mystery boxes we're getting now that the Dharma Initiative has thrown them everywhere. We also had a squid ink drop, which means we don't need a squid pawn for perfection for now. So I wonder if I'm going to regret my bed being so far away from the door now. Guess we'll have to wait and see on that one. We actually drank mayonnaise. Stardew Valley 1.6, perfection in a minute, summer day 25, a book we've been saving lets us get a monster musk. We also played our first round of Dharma Gacha, pizza and coffee, that's my type of surprise. So the majority of today is going to be spent clear cutting our farm, well aside from our actual tree farm. Feels like these compilation videos are becoming more common, hopefully once we get into fall, we can mix things up just a little bit more. We of course had more mystery boxes drop, I'm making sure to always keep 5 on hand as we still need them for one of our remix bundles. And Dorito decided to sleep near the kitchen, so we're gonna fix that. It took us over an hour to move him beside our bed, but now he's with us for the night and it was worth it. We look very dapper now. Stardew Valley 1.6, perfection in a minute, summer day 26. It's storming, and it will buck a lot of you that I'm not harvesting everything yet. We'll get to it. We also kept these new wormies to make sure that we could get some broccoli. More Dharma boxes, and off to the mines. So it's a best luck day. So we're hunting for gems, ancient seeds, loot boxes, and just monster kills in general. Now I'm not sure we need this much copper ore, but I'd rather have it than have to come farm more later. It was also at this point when I was putting the shirt on that makes us look very dapper that at some point shortly after we entered the mines, we found an ancient seed. I had no idea. So we're up to two ancient seeds now, which will just speed up things in the greenhouse a little bit more in the future. And yes, the old shirt is going into the dresser. We caught a fish in a waterfall today. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute, summer day 27, and the plan today is to fish. Now earlier on in summer we failed at catching a lava eel multiple times. We're going to try to remedy that today. Now the stonefish is rare, but it's an easy catch, so once you get it on your line, it's simple. The ice pip and the lava eel are a whole different story, and luckily I was able to catch both on the first time that I had them on the line, and both were a tough catch. With that done, and a lot of day left, let's head to Cindersap Forest to try to see what happens when we fish at the waterfall. The goby, that's a new fish. 
And with four new fish today, that is 58% of every fish caught towards perfection. That is awesome. Bikini Bottom came to visit today. Stardew Valley 1.6, perfection in a minute, summer day 28, yes, the final day of summer. Time to do a full crop harvest, getting to harvest everything all at once to end the season just feels more satisfying than having some ready and some not. Wait, is that the jellyfish jam from Spongebob? Once again, we're going to move Dorito back to the bedroom with us to end off summer. See you in fall, everybody.